In my last video, I showed you the three Facebook ads that I use to generate 60 buyer leads in 14 days. And now that those ads are running, how do we access those ads? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three methods to access your Facebook leads and be able to nurture them. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jacob Shireman. I'm a realtor here in Houston, Texas. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you know when our next video comes out. And so today we're gonna dive into the three ways to check your Facebook ads. So I'm gonna show you how to check them directly using Facebook's lead system. We're gonna set up a Zapier and have it import into a Google spreadsheet and a CRM. So let's go ahead and take a look as I walk you step by step on how to do this. So in our last video, I showed you how to create a Facebook lead gen ad to attract buyers using um, a list of open houses in a specific area. So now that that lead gen ad is running, we have to collect the leads and access them. So how do we do that? So if you don't have them automatically going into your CRM or maybe a Google Sheet, um, you can access them basically by going to your Facebook page, clicking Lead Center, and you'll see all of your leads here. I do have the columns moved in just to protect the information of my leads and their privacy, but you can see here, you can filter through them. However, I recommend that you get these inside of a CRM or at least in a spreadsheet or something that you can track yourself and you're not reliant on constantly logging in here and checking. Um, you can download these results to a spreadsheet. Just remember, you're gonna have to come down here and download it every day um, if, or every time you have a new lead. So uh, you just simply click here, save it, and you can open it up in Excel. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Zapier. But what Zapier does, it collects it connects all these platforms together and creates a workflow. So it automates everything. And as a realtor, this is super important. So we're not wasting our time with a bunch of admin work so we can spend more time with our clients and getting out there. So we're going to create a zap. So I'm going to click create a zap. But before we create the zap, I want you to go ahead and set up a spreadsheet. I did this inside Google Sheets. Um, as you can see over here, you can do a tab for each area that you target. And then what I did was I put a column for date, first name, last name, email, phone, campaign, and ad name. And that way, if you're running a bunch of different ads, you can at least filter this. Now, even if you have, you're going to use a CRM and import your leads into there, I highly recommend that you have some type of backup. Um, that way, if for some reason you ever leave your broker or something happens with the software, or it's no longer available, you always have a backup source um, uh, to access those leads. So now that we have this created, um, let's go to back to our Zapier. So now we're gonna add the trigger. So the trigger is gonna be how we're gonna start this workflow. So obviously when we get a new lead, we want to start this workflow. So we're gonna type in Facebook, and as you can see here, and even says premium, for Facebook lead ads, you're gonna click here, and then you're gonna choose your event. So anytime there's a new lead, it will trigger this when a new lead is created. So it kind of gives you a description of what it's gonna do, and it's gonna be instant, which is great. Um, so every time there's a new lead, what do we want it to do? Um, so let's select our Facebook account first, and Go continue. And if you weren't already logged in, it'll have you logged in and give permission. So you want to go select your Facebook page. We did. And this is super important. Select the correct form. Okay. So we did Sugarland Open Houses. We're going to select that. Awesome. And then we're going to say continue. So now that it's there, we're going to test trigger just to make sure it can communicate. So right now, because it is a brand new ad, we don't have any data in. So you'll see all this dummy data for first name, dummy data for last name. So we have to have something to import. And it's not gonna populate all these fields like normal, um, just enough to make sure that the trigger works and everything is communicating. So now what? So now that we have a Facebook lead, what do we, where do we want it to go? Well, obviously we wanna go first to a Google Sheet. So I'm gonna do that. 
And like I said, even if you're using a CRM, this is a great step to use as well. So Google Sheets, we want to create a spreadsheet row. As you can see, there were so many options to choose from, but that's what we want it to do. Now we're going to choose the account we want to use. So I got the account selected. Again, if you don't have this logged in, it will just have you log in and give um, Zapier permission to access that spreadsheet. So we're going to choose the drive so we can find the spreadsheet. And so here's our spreadsheet, Facebook ad leads. And then we're going to ch choose uh, which worksheet we want to import that row to or create a new row. And now we have to assign the data to the columns because you got to make sure it lines up correctly. So for this one, we're going to do created. So whenever the lead is created, I want that to be in my date column. All right, so we're going to put the date that the lead was created, the first name, last name. So now we're going to do email, phone number. Oops, passed it. And I'll show you this. You can also um, put just filter through. So campaign name, and then we're going to want add name. Perfect. Now you can, let's say you wanted to put in something specific here. You can type text. So we could put Sugarland ad, you know, if you already wanted to say something specific. Um, however, we're just going to do that because sometimes that form can be used for multiple things and that way you know where um, that lead is coming from. So once we have all of those aligned like we need to, we're going to say continue. And then it's going to show you what it's going to import. And then you just say test and continue. So it's going to see if it was able to connect. So let's go check it out and look, boom, our information was automatically imported. Um, and so it works. So the most important step would be to turn on SAP. Let's go back to our Zaps and we're going to go up here and click that. Now we're going to go back and add a second item. So let's go ahead and name this. So this would be Facebook lead gen sugar land open houses. All right, so now that we got that named, let's add our final step and import into uh, our CRM. So for us, we use KV Core. So you can use whatever you would like. Uh, so we're gonna do that and then just do whatever you need to link it together to your CRM. Mine is already linked and then choose an event. I wanna create a contact from our lead. So we're gonna click that. Now, I already have my KV Core signed in. Um, you're either going to give it the Zapier key or do an invite. But the same thing we did for Google, we're going to go through and line up that information. So first name, lead type, buyer. Um, and then if you were running a seller ad, you would just choose seller or maybe they're both. Um, last name, email. And then we're going to need their phone number. So let's scroll a little bit. Or we can just use the search function. So phone number. All right. And then lead status will be a new. The form or a capture method. We can just say uh, Facebook. Do Sugar Land Open House. Right. And then the source will be Facebook. So let's do Facebook ad. You can put a secondary source if you want to get more specific, which the ad date registered. You can just leave this blank. It'll do whatever date that it is imported. And then you can put an address. You can sign the property stuff if you knew maybe what property they were looking at. Maybe it was a specific ad about a property. Um, you can do that as well. Um, so customize this however you want because you can just type into these boxes as well. You can assign it to an agent. You can give it a note. Um, lead. It's from Facebook form for Sugar Land Open House. All right. So do whatever you need to do 
to be able to have all the information you can about this. You can also add at or tags. You can also add tags. So your tag could be um, Facebook, Sugar Land, and um, there's a pay per click ad. Um, anything that you need. So also, I want to make sure. I think I might accidentally skipped it, and I did. Interested city is very important. So Sugar Land. So you're going to tell your CRM what city they're interested in. At least in KV Core, you can do that. When you have all the fields the way you wanted them, just click Continue. And then as you can see, and it's going to do the same thing again. It's going to want to test. And you should be able to go check your KV Core. And you will be able to see that entry in there. And then you're good to go. So if you have any more questions about lead generation um, or about this video, or maybe there's a topic that you would love to see covered, put it down in the comments below. And I would love to help you any way I can um, to grow your real estate business using digital marketing and social media. If you're interested in what uh, EXP and our group here at the Agent Wolf Pack have to offer, reach out to me. All my contact information is below in the description. Um, you can even access my link tree to get a link to my Calendly calendar. And you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call and we can talk about uh, what our group is doing differently or how maybe I can help you with uh, digital marketing. Uh, for your business. So until next time, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.